the empirical and molecular formula. So this exercise related to empirical and molecular formulas. So a sample is there which contain magnesium, silicon, oxygen, Yeah, it does not depend on even a mass is given or a percentage is given. You just follow the steps, the three steps, and you'll get the final answer. So the three steps you just have to follow, which is dividing by relative atomic mass, divided by the smallest value in the combination, and simplify the ratio in whole number. So we have magnesium, we have silicon, and we have oxygen. Magnesium is how much? 2.73 grams of magnesium, 1.58 grams of silicon, and 3.60 grams of oxygen. What should be our first step? What we'll do, we'll divide by relative atomic mass. For magnesium, you have to use a periodic table that will be there in exam. So what is, can you identify the magnesium atomic mass, relative atomic mass? 24. So magnesium is 24. So we divide the mass of magnesium by 24. Then what about silicon? What is the relative atomic mass of silicon? SI. 28. So we'll divide that by 28. And what is the relative atomic mass of oxygen? So oxygen 18. is 16, because 8 and 16. So this one is 16. So when we divide, what's, what's the answer for 2.73 divided by 24? 0 0.1137. So point one one three seven. Don't try to round off during the calculation. Like in between, don't try to round off. Once you read the final answer, then rounding off can be done, not in between. Because if you try to round off in any stage in between, then you may likely get a wrong final answer. Then 1.58 divided by 28, what's the answer for this? 0 0.0535. So, uh, 0.0535 or 0 0.056? Can you check? 1.58 divided by 28. It is 0 0.056. So 0 0.056 and we normally, as I mentioned, use two four decimal places. So 0 0.0564 will be there. And 3.6 divided by 16, that's equal to? 0 0.225. 0 0.225. Then the step, this was uh, step one. Then the second step, we divide by the smallest value in the combination. So which is the smallest value in the combination? Middle one. So it will be 0 0.0564. So we divide 0 0.0564, 0 0.0564, and 0 0.0564. So 0 0.0564. 137 divided by 0 0.0564. What's the final answer for this? 2.01. 2.01. This when we divide, the, the obvious will get 1. 0 0.225 divided by 0 0.0564. What is the answer? 3.989. 3.989. So, as you can see, I can round off these numbers. This one what I will say, this will be two. This is already one is there and this 3.989, I can say that is four. So the last step, we will simplify the ratio in a whole number. So we have two magnesium. So what will the empirical formula? It will be Mg2 SiO4.
Another question. A compound contains 72% magnesium and 28% nitrogen. What is the empirical formula? So again, we have to follow the steps. The space is available here, the lines, you will use these lines to work out the final answer. The magnesium is 72 divided by what is the relative atomic mass of magnesium? That's 24. That's a step one. Because we step one, we divide by relative atomic mass. Nitrogen, it is 28 divided by 14. Why? Because the relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14. So step one is divide by relative atomic mass. Then step two, like after dividing, this will be three. And this one is two. Then we take smallest, divide by the smallest value in the combination. So two is the smallest value in the combination. We divide both of them by two. So three divided by two, that's equal to 1.5. And two divided by two, that's equal to one. Then we simplify the third step, we simplify uh, the ratio into a whole number. So which number, if I should multiply both of them, one is 1.5, another one is one, so I'll multiply both of them by two. Mm -hmm. So it will be three and this will be two. So the empirical formula of this compound is Mg3N2. That's a final answer. Even though I was having three, two here, but again, you will follow the procedure. You will divide by sometime the second step, even giving you the final answer. But don't stop there. Or uh, any type of question is there. You always try to carry out these three steps. So divide by relative atomic mass, divide by the smallest value, and then we simplify the ratio in a whole number. This question, titanium ore contains 36.8% of iron, 31.6% titanium and remainder oxygen. Can you identify how much oxygen will be there? If a compound contains 36.8% iron, 31.6% titanium and remaining percentage is oxygen. So what we do? We sum these two percentages, we add these two percentages and subtract from 100. 31.6. So it will be 31.6. Because how we worked out, because the total percentage of all the elements should be 100. So if iron is 36.8, so we subtract iron 36.8 and titanium is 31.6, so 31.6. When we subtract, we're left with 31.6, so that's why it is 31.6. Number of moles of titanium, basically you will follow the same steps. Don't bother about this statement right now because we will discuss later in the topic, what is the concept of the mole. You will follow the three steps. What is the step one here? The step one is there, then simpl the simplest ratio that is step two. So what is step one here? We divide by atomic mass. So for iron, the percentage of iron, we divided by 56, they, that already done. They did for you. The second one, how to work out the moles of titanium, because when we divide by relative atomic mass, we get a substance which is known as a mole. So titanium is how much? It is 31.6 divided by relative atomic mass of titanium. What is the relative atomic mass of titanium? Here is titanium, 48. 48. So what we do, we divide this by 48. What is the answer? 31.6 divided by 48? 0 0.6583. And 
And for oxygen, 31.6 divided by its mass, which is 16. So 31.6 divided by 16, that is? Thirty-one point six divided by sixteen. What's the answer? One point nine seven five. So one point nine seven five. That is step one. Now, what is step two? <coughs> the simplest ratio. How we take the simplest ratio? We divide by the common number. Common like they divide by the smallest value in the combination. So for iron, it was 0 0.66. For titanium, it was 0 0.6583. And for oxygen, it was 1.975. Which number I should divide? Which is the smallest value? 0 0.66. Uh, uh, 0 0.65. Yeah. So 0. Uh, six five. So this will be zero point six five eight three. This also zero point six five eight three, and this also zero point six five eight three. What is the simplest ratio when we simplify? For iron, it will be. It's about one, I guess. This will be one. This will be one. What about the third one? One point nine seven five divided by zero point zero six. Uh, 1.975 divided by 0 0.653. 3 .02. So 3.02. So 1, 1 and 3.02. So it's like I can say this is 1, this 1 is 1, this is about 3. So what will the empirical formula of the compound or the simplest ratio of the atoms in this? So it will be Fe. It will be Fe. TiO3. Is it uh, clear? Working out the empirical formula. Um, question number five. Work out the empirical formula of this compound. So for this question, 1.6 gram of a sample of phosphorus was burned and formed 3.87 grams of oxide of phosphorus. So we have the phosphorus that is 1.68 grams. But how much oxygen is there? This is an oxide of phosphorus and this is a mass of phosphorus. So what we'll do to know the mass of oxygen, we'll subtract because that is phosphorus plus oxygen and this is only phosphorus. So when we subtract, we'll get the mass of oxygen. So that is 3.87 minus 1.68. So 3.87 minus 1.68, this will be the mass of oxygen, which is 2.19. So 2.19 is the mass of oxygen. Now what is the step one? Step one, we divided by relative atomic mass. So step one divided by relative atomic mass phosphorus when you check the periodic table it is 31 and for oxygen check the periodic table it will be 16. So 1.68 divided by 31 it will be 0 0.054 and 2.19 divided by 16 that is 0 0.13 then the second step we divided by the smallest value in the combination, which is the smallest value, that is 0 0.054. So we divide by 0 0.054 here and 0 0.054. So when we divide by 0 0.054, this will be 1, but the other one is 2.5. So whenever one of the value is 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 5, what we'll do? We'll multiply all of them by 2. So we'll multiply this by two, other one also by two. So it will be P2O5 is the right answer.
Then another question. <clears throat> what is the empirical formula of this organic compound, which contains 48.65% hydrogen, 8.11%, uh, sorry, 48.65% carbon, 8.11% hydrogen, and remaining 43.24 oxygen? For this question, a compound contain 48.65% carbon. So we have carbon, we have hydrogen and oxygen, which is 48.65, 8.11, and 43.24. First step, we divide by atomic mass. So we divide this by 12, this by one, and this one is by 16. So 48.65 divided by 12. This will be 4.05. double one divided by one, which will remain same. And 43.24 divided by 16 is about 2.7. Step two, we divide by the smallest value in the combination. This is 2.7 in this case. So we divide all of them by the smallest value, which is 2.6. So 4.05 divided by 2.7, 8.11 divided by 2.7, 2.7 divided by 2.7. So when we divide this, this will be 1.5. This will be 4.05 so divided by 27. One point five. This one will be three, and this one is one, because we have one of the values one point five. So what we will do? We multiply all of them by two. So we multiply this by two. We multiply three also by two, and we multiply one. So this one point five multiplied by two. So C three. Three multiplied by two six. So H six. And two multiplied by one. So O two. So C3, H6, and O2, that is an empirical formula. So whenever one of the value is 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, we, we don't round off, we multiply all of them by two. So because the one of the value is 1.5 here, that's why we're multiplying all of them by two. 